Hey, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to compare the Golden Cross strategy that we just implemented against just a simple buy and hold strategy. So to do that, I created a new file called buyhold.py inside of our strategy, strategies directory. And we'll just import uh, backtrader again as BT. And then we'll implement, uh, we'll extend backtrader.strategy again. So I'll do class buyhold. And then that extends uh, bt.strategy and then all we need to do is define our next method again and then we're just going to say we're going to buy we're going to go all in basically if we have no position uh, when we hit our next method which will be like the first day um, if we don't have a position then we buy as much as we can with the amount of cash we have so in our next method we can just do uh, size equals int and then self.broker.getCash, so all of our cash divided by whatever the price happens to be, so self.data. So we have that as an integer, and then we can say self.buy size equals size, um, and then we'll say if position.size, uh, self.position.size uh, equals zero, then we'll do that. And then if we're already in, then we don't need to do anything. So I think that's enough for a strategy. And now we just need to do from strategies dot buy hold, import buy hold. And then instead of adding the strategy golden cross, we can add the strategy buy hold. And let's see if that works. So now I'm going to run the buy and hold strategy. So I can do uh, Python 3 run dot pi. And if I run that, uh, you'll see it comes up with another chart here, and you can see uh, there's only one buy. The very first time we hit next, we have our position, so we don't need to do any other buys. We start with $100,000, we're still holding the stock, and you see we have $233,000 today. So we've more than doubled our money, and we haven't had to get in and out of the market. We haven't had to buy and sell over and over again and haven't had to pay taxes over and over again. So you can see, even though this doesn't uh, match the 300 and something thousand we had from the Golden Cross strategy, you also have to keep in mind that we didn't pay taxes over and over again, which can often take you know 30, maybe 40% of your money out if you pay uh, state and federal taxes and also any commission fees you would have to pay uh, for buying and selling. Although that uh, impact has been somewhat mitigated since we have things like Robinhood and alpaca now that offer commission-free uh, trading so yeah you see this is actually a pretty good strategy to buy and hold over the course of 20 years you get reinvested dividends you don't pay taxes over and over again and all that money continues to compound over time so what I want to do now to finish this up is allow our uh, strategy runner to actually accept uh, multiple named strategies so I can say to run.py and then pass it a strategy and it'll run that strategy. So let's just add a command line argument just to finish this off this series. And so what I'll do is we've already imported this arg parse here. And so we can give it a named list of uh, possible strategies that we have. And so what I'm gonna do here is at the very beginning of the program, we're gonna parse any arguments that come in. So to do that, you do parser um, equals arg parse dot argument parser. And then we can do parser.add argument. And then we can provide it some help text. So uh, strategy, and we'll do help equals uh, which strategy to run. And you give it a type. And what we'll do is have a dictionary where we map the different strategies we have uh, by name to the class that's needed to run them. So I'm going to do strategies equal dictionary. And then I'll do a golden cross. And that'll map to the golden cross strategy class. And then I'll do buy hold. And that'll map to the buy hold strategy class. And that's good. Uh, we accept an argument of strategy. And then we'll say uh, args equals uh, parser dot parse args. And that'll contain our arguments. And then we can say if not args dot strategy. So the strategy passed in. If it's not in our strategies, so if that key isn't golden cross or buy hold, then we can say a print invalid strategy must be one of, and then we format, and then we can display our strategies. 
and we'll just display the keys. So that'll be the valid keys. So if it's not a valid strategy, we can just exit the program. Okay. And now I'm going to run that. So I'm going to do Python 3 run.py. It'll say usage run.py dash h strategy. Uh, so uh, we need to, we're, we're, our program requires a strategy class. So I'll do Python 3 run.py and then I'll do hello, for instance, and I'll say, oh, that's an invalid strategy. Must be one of golden cross or buy and hold. And so I'll just say uh, golden cross and it will load the appropriate class. And you can see our golden cross strategy um, here. And I'm sorry, uh, I didn't actually pass it in. I'm going to do uh, arg dot, uh, args dot strategy here. So now if I run it with golden cross, it'll load the appropriate uh, strategy. Args dot strategy. Oh, and it's a dictionary. So strategies and then the string of the arg strategy will load the actual cl class name. So we'll run it and you'll see this will run the golden cross strategy. $328,000. And then if I do the buy hold, we run that, it'll run the buy and hold strategy, and you'll see the one buy and then having $233,000. So that about does it. I've showed you how to uh, implement two different trading strategies and compare them and have a strategy runner that can load different strategy classes and you can compare the results. So uh, stay tuned for more videos. I hope to in the future show you uh, how to execute actual stock trades using these trading strategies with things like the Robinhood stocks package that I've done a video on and also using Alpaca and maybe TD Ameritrade as well. Uh, it's been a little bit of a challenge because I work actually during the day whenever the market is open. So I'll try to wake up early and execute some of these trades for you in a future video. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, I have a lot more content to come. Thanks.